The good David Schoenberger, CIO, Certain Safe. Yes. Right? Yes. Fantastic. Firestarter Company. Congratulations. Thank you. That's yeah, a big we're deal. excited to be here. Yeah. Big deal. It is a uh, huge You were deal. here last year. I was. Right? You were on the CTO challenge. Mm -hmm. You knocked it out of the park then. I hope You're so. You're going to knock it out of the park this yes. year. Yes. Right? Um, a lot has gone on with Certain Safe over the past year. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Um, you've got a micro tokenization technology mm -hmm. that you've been working on for mm -hmm. years. Yes. Behind the scenes. Correct. Ready for market. Right. What? Why is micro tokenization so important today for cybersecurity? Yeah, we're, and, and I think one of the things that is so important is the idea that we're protecting a piece of data individually. And micro tokenization means that instead of dealing with real data and trying to transmit real data or store real data, we're going to take that real data, hide it, do what we do in terms of a micro tokenization and micro encryption process, mm -hmm. hide that data outside of that existing source of where that data normally lives. And we put in a kind of a, a token, what we call it a micro token, that's okay. a placeholder, okay. so that if this data um, is stolen or if that database is breached or some system is compromised, no real data lives there. The real sensitive stuff is someplace else, it's hidden. So what we do is, through our process, hide data and secure data. Right, now yeah. how do you hide it and then let people interact mm -hmm. with it? That, yeah. is that, that yeah. seems like magic. David. It is magic, and that's <laughs> one of the key things, accessibility. Sometimes right. you can secure something into oblivion and you can't use it anymore, or sometimes when you want it accessible, then it's, it's not secure, it's right. exposed, right. right. So how so, do you, well, you figured it out. Yeah, we have, because what we do, one of the key things is we treat every individual piece of data that you want secured, yeah. whether it's a record on a database or a document right. or some video file, we treat it as a separate encrypted individual item right. where if you need to get it back or work with it some point in the future, we only have to do our process in reverse one time, mm. not a million times. You may have a million social security numbers and we don't have to unencrypt everything. We just do one at a time with separate keys um, and that's, that's one of the key parts of accessibility to keep it in that sub-second near real-time speed. Right, now let, let's be clear on this yep. because it's, it's evident that you can hack yeah. just about anything right. and get into anything, yes. right? What you guys have said is, okay, we understand that. Yeah. A company's gonna get hacked. Correct. However, that doesn't mean that necessarily that data will get stolen with your technology because you will get hacked, mm -hmm. but because the data has micro tokens involved, right? right? Yeah. You are basically hiding that yes. data and protecting that data so that it can't get stolen. Because a hacker, when he goes into your database, is looking for certain pieces of data or certain ways data is communicated within your system, within your network. Yeah. But what they are going to find is now worthless oblique tokens instead of real data. And they won't know where these tokens or, or, or where the tokens had the corresponding real data. They don't know where this right. exists. That's the first line of defense is nobody knows where the real stuff is, let alone these tokens Can are worthless. Can they find it? No, they can't. So this is, I mean, this is a nightmare mm -hmm. scenario for a hacker, Yeah. right? Yeah. In 2015, going into 2016, Certain Safe has a technology to hide data, yep. protect data, store data, mm -hmm. and at a time when you you have to do that. You have to. You have to do it. Yeah. Because your your customer's data is vulnerable, right? You you see these stories in the media, yeah. right? These 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 big companies, the targets, and mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. these big establishments, their customer data is being lifted, mm -hmm. and it doesn't need to be like that. It doesn't need to be. Not anymore. We've the, our the, our process eliminates that eventuality that when someone gets into your system they're not going to get the secret stuff. They might wow. get a product ID. You're not going to secure everything. You don't want your entire database right, right. secure well, that's this not way. You just want data. the few pieces right. that would ruin you right. if you were breached. Yeah, there's, there's that's the, what we protect. Yep. So you you protect the the key data. Yeah. Right? The crown jewels. Yes. Right. This is this 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 has to be something that's going to be in tremendous demand. I I I've got to believe Oh, that, it is. Right? It is in tremendous demand. Okay. So 
And, it's, and, and we're, we're, we're talking about sort of a data vault concept, right? Protecting data, mm -hmm. putting in a vault like Fort Knox. Yep, you, yep. you can't get in. Hackers are going to be right. extremely frustrated. I don't know what they're going to do. They're going to probably have to tr find a new, a new thing to do, mm -hmm. right? Because mm -hmm. you're going to make hacking right. kind of irrelevant. Right. Now, let's talk about... For sure not profitable. Right, not profitable. That's fantastic. Okay, now, there's another thing going on. We were here last year mm -hmm. with Vince mm -hmm. Cerf, yep. right? Google, yep. Yep. and he's like... They were, he was talking about some of the concerns that he had, mm -hmm. right? We heard him, yes, we right? Did. Hacking refrigerators, right. bringing down the financial yep. system. You went back to the drawing board we over did. the past year. Yeah. You've got micro tokenization application for the Internet of Things. Yeah, we do. Wow. And, and this foundation technology we just kind of described now has grown into a way to protect and secure the commands from a device to device scenario. So in the Internet of Things, our framework will secure the command going across a communication, right. but that communication is now secured. Wow. And it's a fabulous new technology. That sounds like like a military app, like a like a golden military application, yes. right? Yes. And then with with Internet of Things, it Vince Sir scenario mm -hmm. be becomes kind of improbable. Right. And in, in that scenario, no one is concerned that suddenly refrigerators are going to communicate to your device and tell you, oh, bring home two jugs of milk right. when you don't need two jugs of milk. Right. But what the refrigerator is going to do without our security is to somehow someone can hack in and implant it with some type of malicious virus, right. some type of Trojan, right. some type of malware. That would take down and the then, financial system. Well, it's saying bring two jugs of milk. Now, your tablet is infected right. and then your tablet connected to your home network is infecting your network and then it's going down into other places and getting your financial data or taking down the financial system but the refrigerator is going to be that that source of malware being spread right with this new way of thinking, yeah. no longer are real commands going to be sent. The refrigerator is never going to tell your device in, in clear language, yeah. bring home two jugs of milk. Right. In fact, it'll never be able to send a piece of malware to your device because with this new way of communicating, we're taking out all commands and we're now using substitute tokens as a placeholder communication. Okay. So if your device gets this communication into it that is malware, your device is only expecting our tokens to be communicated. So no other, no other form of communication can come in or more uh, even a better scenario yeah. is no man in the middle can sniff out what's being communicated across wow. and say, aha, now yeah. I can unencrypt this packet of data, figure out what's inside of it, and then go execute my own commands. Wow. When you think about like autonomous vehicles, what, what, what Tesla yeah. and some Google, yeah. and, right. Right? right? Isn't this perfect for this that? It's perfect. It's perfect for that because any, any form of a command that's expecting some some form of secured command to be delivered to a device that's actually going to do what you just told it to do. Yeah. We are securing that, and so it's impossible now for that device to do anything but right. the expected command, Tremendous. which protects it. Wow. Yeah. So, so you're you're excited. Yeah, we're we're, we're I mean, you, very how excited. many years have you been working on this micro tokenization technology? Six years. Six years. And and the perfect storm is now all of our foundational research and all of what we've done in, right. in the micro tokenization space. Now we're applying it to right. communicated right. Uh, commands. This yeah. is it's 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 wonderful. Feedback from from customers has to be true, like it, like your guy said, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Where have you been all my life? Where have you we, been? We we needed you yesterday. Yeah. Right. Congratulations thank again you. on being a fire yeah, company. Very exciting stuff, David. Hey, thanks, Steve. Cheers. Hey, yeah. thanks.